Under the IDEA, the Individuals with Disability Act, um, you and your child have legal protections during an evaluation or during the IEP process. Um, you, these rights and procedures are called procedural safeguards. Um, I'm gonna explain some of these to you. Um, there are 10 most important parts of the procedural safeguards. And the first one being, you must receive a written copy of these rights. You will either get a PDF copy from me in, the, in an email. You'll also be able to, if you would like, a hand a printed copy given at the IEP meeting, or I can email you or send one in the mail. Um, another right you have is as a parent of a child with potential disabilities or disabilities, you have the right to um, um, participate in all the meetings. You have a right to call an IEP meeting and that will get set forth if you'd like. Um, but you have the right to participate in all of your students' educational IEP meetings, any meetings that you feel like you want to participate in, you have the right to that. Um, another right is you have the right to an explanation of your child's records. You have the right to see them. Um, you can ask if you feel like there needs to be some corrections made. Um, one of another rights under the procedural safeguards is confidentiality of information. Um, your student's information, the na their name, their address, any grades or health information cannot be shared with anyone. Any personal information cannot be shared. Um, the school cannot do that. That's your right to have that privacy. Um, another right you have is informed consent. Um, you must give your written permission before the school can evaluate your child. Um, we can't, a school can't just evaluate your child and let you know the results after. You have to be informed and you have to agree to the evaluation. Um, another right you have is prior written notice. Uh, the school must give you written notice before it changes your child's they say educational, special educational experience. Your child's schedule can't be changed. I, your more minutes can't be added on to special education services or taken away without um, your consent or knowledge um, before any of that happens. Um, this document, the procedural safeguards under the IDEA Act, you have the right to receive this information in your native language and your students, even if that's sign language and braille, you should be able to receive these, this information in a language you'll understand. Um, another thing is if you agree with any of the results, uh, the evaluation results, you have the right to get an independent evaluation done. The school doesn't necessarily have to accept that evaluation, but you do have the right to get that done and the school definitely will take a look at it. Um, there's a stay put part in the procedural safeguards where if you disagree with any of the services or any of the placement that your child is in, um, the IEP, the current or previous IEP will stay in place until and all resolve is made until everything is correct and everyone agrees with the new plan or the current plan. Um, the last one is um, if you dispute um, anything on there, you have options. Um, you can keep talking it out and negotiating with the teacher or the team. Um, you can ask for a mediator, someone to come in and help resolve any situations um, and you have the right to due process. Um, that's by law and you have a few options for um, services. If you need help, you can go to the OSPI Washington State website and they have more information on this 
or you can go to the Ark of Tri-Cities, a local one, and they will provide you with more assistance, more help. If you have any questions, you can reach back to me or you can reach any of these departments. Thank you.